The Battle of Burma is virtually the Battle of the Burma Road, the tortuous military highway which runs from Lashao through precipitous gorges and over mountain chains to the Chinese capital of Chongqing. Before the fall of Rangoon, the flow of British and American lease lend material started at the estuary of the Sitang River and the road to Mandalay, a city now devastated by Japanese raiders, carried heavy loads. One error of judgment by a lorry driver and the winding road will claim a victim. Two-way traffic must be maintained. Trucks of mules bound for the Burma war zone pass planes going to China. Chinese troops destined for the jungle warfare that rages in the mountains and valleys approach the Burmese border. British and Chinese are working in close liaison with each other in the vital struggle to stem the savage Japanese thrusts at the 1,400-mile lifeline to China. The southern end of this rocky jugular vein is already the scene of bitter fighting. This Chinese signpost stands at the border town of Wanting, the inhabitants of which hear the constant rumble of convoys streaming day and night over this all-important two-way route. Past an ancient Buddhist temple go the implements of modern war. The Chinese maintain repairs to the road by the use of great numbers of coolie laborers, assisted by women workers who help in keeping the heavily used road in condition. To relieve traffic on the road and also to open up a new route of entry into China, work on a new railway line is being rushed ahead. The construction is a forerunner of an alternative road and rail system that will start in India and bypass the section of the Burma Road within the danger area. Along the Nam Ting River, engineers dynamite the solid rock. In the mountain fastness, a new Burma Road is being built. A huge undertaking that entails the bringing up by mule convoys of large quantities of rice for hundreds of thousands of laborers. The spraying of riverbanks with arsenic dust is a precaution against the malaria-bringing mosquitoes which breed in the fever-infested waters. The American Medical Mission is doing great work here. It has greatly reduced the mortality rate from malaria, yellow fever, dysentery and typhoid. An issue of quinine pills helps largely in the checking of those dread fevers which have taken such heavy toll in their time. This engineering project can, in its way, be likened to other great enterprises such as the Panama Canal or Boulder Dam. All the time it's a fight against disease and the enemy which is aiming to break it apart. And perhaps most of all, it's a fight against time. In its dark interior, winding trails of rock and iron reach out to the Allied forces at grips with the enemy. A great network which links India, Burma and China and feeds each with the essentials of war.